So here's a perfect situation where I'm kind of rethinking everything as far as chemistry due to Tim Yeeter's silver solution. This is a 25-year-old crappy nylon that uh, has been shampooed with a little home scrubber countless times. And you can see the dining area here and everything that's gone on. So loaded with who knows what. A little bit of pet residue, not much, but chemistry. Lots and lots of chemistry. Where uh, I would normally go to a high pH mega blaster and high pressure and try and get it all out and be a hero. Which, as you know, is not possible on a 25-year-old carpet with this much dry soil out here. So... And run the silver solution, do a little CRB in, in these areas, and then uh, ProChem AFR rinse to do some further neutralizing. And I'll be back to show you the Well, just results. as I suspected, clean up beautifully for its age. And getting all the soap residue and dirt stuck to it. That high Sierra dust. Uh, you can see a little lint wad there and sand that I was getting out with the CRB. And I didn't do every square foot of it, didn't need it. You don't need to be over scrubbing carpet for a some time. Just hit it where it needs it. So, just spraying on the back pool, being real deliberate. Lots of dry strokes. And this customer here, bachelor. Very educated guy. Knows his way around the backwoods. He's gonna greatly appreciate this when it's dry. Soft, fluffy, smelling good, no dirty dish while dish towel stench. No brown outs, no wicking. Really is the way to clean these old old girls from home. Clean them with some respect. Don't come in here and beat the crap out of them with a rotor extractor thinking you're going to get out the quarter inch of graphite that's underneath this carpet. Give her a good neutralizing. Right, Timmy? And that's his dog bed. It's about, uh, I don't know, four by, four by six. He knows it's wasted, but we got nice that's coming out. All right. All done. I'm uh, very impressed. And with the uh, AFR rinse and the window on the Devastator, I was able to locate all the little soap puddles from the spot cleaning attempts that's been going on over the 25 years and spent a little time rinsing those and, and watching them successfully rinse free, which is always gratifying. But uh, go with, hit the rewind button and look at what uh, this thing looked like before I started. Yeah, sure, a lot of wear right through here, following there, some heavy window fading there, but uh, put the furniture and the rugs back, and fantastic. This is, looks dirty, but it's not. I mean, it's just some texture there. I just finished that, but anyway, Tim Eater, fantastic job. You're doing a uh, great service to the cleaning industry with this product. And let's all try and stay on the acid side as much as possible in situations like this. And give our, give our industry a uh, much needed boost. And um, I don't know what I'm starting to say here. Reputation, I guess. Too many people out there over cleaning, high alkaline, mega grout boosters and all this crap. Just burning carpets left and right. Wicking, stench, brownouts, color loss, you name it. Doesn't need to be. All right, over and out. On to the next one.